in the last session we learnt about working half hard and the different types of circulation today we are going to learn about some facts related to heart the first fact what we have to learn is about heartbeat one contraction and one relaxation together constitute a heartbeat when the atria contracts ventricle relaxes and blood from the atria enters into the ventricle through tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve when the ventricles contract the blood from the ventricles enters into the pulmonary artery and aorta through pulmonary valve and aortic valve when the atria contracts tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve opens and it creates a lub sound lub sound when the ventricles contract pulmonary valve and aortic valve opens at the same time the tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve closes it creates a dub sound dub sound so a lub sound and a dub sound together forms one heartbeat the contraction of heart is termed as systole and the relaxation of heart is termed as diastole so one contraction and one relaxation so one systole and one diastole constitute one heartbeat it takes about 0.8 seconds the normal heartbeat of a healthy person is about 72 times per minute the instrument used to measure the heartbeat is known as stethoscope i hope it is clear for you the second fact what we have to learn about the heart is pulse rate the wave like movement felt on the wall of the arteries due to contraction and relaxation of the heart is known as pulse rate the wave like movement or the throbbing movement felt on the wall of the arteries due to contraction and relaxation of heart is known as pulse rate a rate of pulse is equivalent to that of the heartbeat pulse can be checked in any place that allows an artery to be compressed near the surface of the body usually we check the pulse rate in the wrist part of our hands where radial artery is compressed we will learn which are the other parts of the body where we can feel the pulse apart from wrist we can feel the pulse inside the elbow both sides of the forehead behind your knees on the top of your foot that is near ankle joint at the side of your neck that is behind ear are the parts where you can feel the pulse now we will learn how you can check your own pulse in your wrist gently place two fingers of your other hand on the radial artery in your wrist count the beats for 10 seconds and then multiply by 6 the result you will get is the number of beats per minute 
don't use your thumb to feel the pulse because the thumb has its own pulse the third fact what we have to learn about the heart is about blood pressure the pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of the arteries is known as blood pressure when the heart pumps the blood the blood exerts a pressure on the wall of the artery and that pressure is known as blood pressure about 70 ml of blood is pumped into the arteries every time when the heart contracts the increased pressure felt on the arteries during contraction of heart is known as systolic pressure this is 120 mm of mercury when the heart relaxes a low pressure is felt in the arteries and it is known as diastolic pressure this is 80 mm of mercury the pressure of an individual is stated in terms of these two pressures that is systolic pressure and diastolic pressure the unit for representing blood pressure is mm hg mm represents millimeter and hg represents mercury the scientific name of mercury is hydrogram the instrument used to measure the blood pressure is known as spigmo manometer nowadays digital bp apparatus is also available to measure the blood pressure the desired rate of blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of mercury the condition in which the blood pressure increases above the desired rate is called high pressure or hypertension unhealthy habits such as continuous use of fast food excess use of salt and fat smoking lack of exercise etc leads to high blood pressure the condition in which the blood pressure goes below the desired rate is known as low pressure or hypotension if not regulated hypotension as well as hypertension may lead to stroke or heart attack